G'day, Rob T here. I recently had a bit of a wager on with my buddy Tools over at Tools and Stuff. And... And the deal was, was that the winner would get a handmade bottle opener made by the loser. And the thing we were betting on, it ended up being so close. I won, but it was so close that I've decided to make him a bottle opener as well. got a trapezoidal scrap of oak so I'll square that up now and then I'll edge it onto this piece of hardwood Alright, cool man, now that that's done, I can just go and chill out for like 24 hours while the glue dries. I think the first thing you need to know about hip hop is all about your posture. And hip hop is this. I'm going to move on now to making the actual mechanical opening device and that will consist of a kind of a hook type of arrangement where you put the lip of the bottle cap under and use leverage and just pop that cap off. This turned out way better than I thought it would. It came out perfectly. Check that out. You bought it at the store. <laughs> In the back of my mind, I was worried that this piece would be too short to put through the planer, but uh, I just uh, look at the, the warning label on the top there and... Um, Never perform planing on pieces shorter than 8 inches in length. And this is coming in at about 350 mil, so it's fine. Well, this came out better than I ever dreamt it would.
So what I'm going to do now is um, just slightly inset this opening thing here. Just going to draw a line around the out, uh, outside of the contact areas and just inset them by, I don't know, like a millionth of a kilometer or so. Just a little bit. Just, um, I don't know, give it a little bit of an extra feature. Hey Tools, Takami Rob. Yeah, how's it going, bro? Sweet as. Hey man, I'm making this uh, this bottle opener thing for you. Yeah, I tried to inlay the bottle opener bit. What? I can't hear you. Speak up. I'm sorry, man. I can't hear anything you're saying. No, no, no. Dude, dude, call me back later. All right, call me back. Bye. Quite a bit of burn on the, uh, the round over there. Uh, so I slowed the route a bit down. I slowed the speed down and uh, that did help a bit. Uh, especially on this white oak but also on this um, Quila hardwood uh, slower speed less burn um, I'm gonna do lots of sanding and get that off because it looks horrible jeez guys you're currently away getting your batteries recharged for the camera while you're away I've done a 40 mil hole in the workpiece. I busted through with a 32 mil spade bit and then I pre-drilled out a 40 mil bushing and a piece of MDF. I'd put my 40 mil force and a bit down inside there to keep it straight and a re-bored out through here. Got beautiful straight edges. I wish you could have been there. It was. I've put a round over on the finger hole at the bottom and I've got the just the normal hole at the top for hanging. You'd hang it on a hook or something or put a put a nail in there and hang it. And I want to round this hole over. I want to give it a kind of a countersink, um, but not a 45 degrees countersink. So I'm going to try something that I've never done before. I'm going to use the round over bit in the router, put it straight on top and just see how far it'll go down. And I think I'll get a nice little round over. I assume that because this is a Rockler product, that these are one inch screws. And I need to get them down below 19 millimeters. To be safe, I want to go somewhere near 17 or 16.5. So I'm going to cut them off.
Oops. Hey, tools. Yeah, tuck on me, Rob, mate. Yeah, she's gone a bit pear shaped, bro. Yeah, well, you know the hardware that it comes with. Well, it comes with one inch screws, and I cut them down to like five eighths of an inch. Uh, screwed them in, and they're too long, and it's blowing out the back, mate. Cheers guys. Well Tools is in home so I just dropped it in the mailbox and um, gave him a call and said hey dude check out your mailbox and um, good bidding bro.